Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to episode 2. We're back here on our juniper house here. Uh, what we're doing now is we're going to be building the uh, the footers here and getting those poured. So I'm going to show you guys doing the layout for our footers and how we're doing that one. And then building the footers, putting the rebar in there and pouring the concrete. And then uh, next after that we'll be doing the uh, ICF. Uh, that'll be the next episode. This one we're going to just be foot laying out the footers and getting concrete in that so let me show you the plans here and show you the site and show you what we're doing all right i'll show you the plans here real quick so we started out by uh putting a a stake there running along there 47 feet putting a stake there and then running the string line across there and we want to make sure that this wall is going to be st straight with the uh, street and that the driveway is or the garage is facing the driveway in the street so it's not uh don't have like a crooked driveway like that or something like that and then uh it just kind of lines up funny and looks funny uh with lined up with the street but we put the stake there stake there measured this out 30 feet put the stake there and then came out here put another stake here Another concrete stake here, and since this is kind of just a, a rectangle, we got that squared up corner to corner, and then uh, that made it easier. So we can go back to here, and we're gonna get this little uh, this other little secondary square here. But first, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be putting the first of our uh, boards up here for the footers for the forms. So we're gonna do this long wall first here just because this is the one that we're going to take all of our measurements off of. And then we'll do the second long wall here. And we'll go ahead and uh, do this one's here and get this little room built in there. So uh, that's where we're at now. Uh, just putting the forms in. So we'll go ahead and get this one up and then I'll show you that uh, when that's done. All right, so we made pretty quick work of it. Having those uh, little stakes out there, we put the string line across that. So it makes it really easy. This is our long straight wall. This is the one that we don't want to move because we want this one lined up with the street. But we did that one and then across here. And we made sure that we got this one uh, square with the front here. So then when we're doing this one, we just run the measurement across there and across here. Make sure they're the same. So this thing should come out pretty square. And this is just the uh, the footer. So if it's... If it's off by just a little bit, it's okay, because we'll make up that difference when we put the uh, ICF blocks on that. Take a little trip over here. So what happened here is this wall here, it's come along here, and it's going out uh, 15 feet. And if you line this up, Kind of straight there. It's going up there, and this wall needs to come out just a little bit because there's a couple of inches short. But luckily, with all these rocks, right here is the only place where it's actually sandy, so it's not too bad there. Uh, here, the little beeping there that's our uh, laser. We have that out to uh, get the uh, top of this footer nice and level all the way around. Uh, it's been pretty easy digging because we uh, did a good job before. We're here with the uh, skid steer and excavator, uh, getting this uh, this pad site all leveled out. So we don't have to do a lot of digging here. This is really the only spot here that we have to do a bunch of digging. So we're going to dig this, and we're going to put the uh, rest of the uh, perimeter on here for around the house. And I'll come back when that is done. One day later. All right, guys, it is the uh, next day here on the job site. See, we're able to go ahead and get the uh, outside uh, perimeter done of these uh, footers here. And I learned a good lesson, and that is to not do my material order at 11 o'clock at night when I'm tired. Because as you see here, I only ordered enough lumber to do the outside. But luckily, my lumber uh, supplier here is really great. And they were able to get the rest of the boards I need over there. Uh, the next day so we will get back to work but anyways here you can see it's a pretty uh, simple process here 
Uh, only thing that makes it a little harder is you have to, uh, when you're following the plans here, you have to make this bigger than what you actually need. So like here, this is going to be my outside uh, of the footer and then the inside of the footer. I marked here at uh, 16 inches and this is the width here of my ICF block and then my center of that and then this is going to be the edge of the house there of the foundation I also did that along there so that corner is going to come here and over here so just have to make it a little bit bigger have to just remember that part but on my plans it's actually right here in the middle that length there and then I make it uh, two and a quarter inches wider so the uh, ICF block will fit in the middle there so that's kind of what I'm doing those measurements but the outside is always the hardest part doing that uh, the inside gets much easier so all you do is you put these same boards on the inside but just separate them by 16 inches and just do that all the way around and then uh, I'll double check the measurements uh, once uh, we have the uh, inside together and make sure that they match up with my plan. We have gotten the inside of the forms uh, done here for the footers. Uh, like I said before, it's a really easy process. Once you get the outsides done, then the inside are even easier. Uh, what we did for these ones, uh, some reason for the outside, I ordered the, the 10 foot long ones, which is kind of weird because I always ordered the 16s. So on the inside, I ordered the 16 foot long ones. That makes things go even faster. And what we're doing on these outsides here, um, so you see we're putting the like the stakes in there. That's just kind of to keep the uh, the level of it And then for these uh, outsides putting putting the two boards together. We just cut off a little scrap there put it on um, And just lots of screws in there that always keeps it together And then what we have to go across the the top there to hold the top from the outsides bone out with the concrete we have these pieces that we cut to fit right in there so this is going to keep it at 16 inches uh, on the inside there which is what we want but before we put these on we have to get the rebar in there because I've done it before where I get ahead of myself I put these on and then I got to get the rebar under there and this is the big pain so put the rebar on first and for this rebar we're using these little overpriced rebar chairs here uh, I got them from the wrong source, so they were very expensive. But anyways, this is what we're using. It's these little chairs. They have these little notches in the top there, you can see. Uh, that's where the rebar sits, and then we'll uh, tie those down. Have these about every five feet, and that should work. Uh, what we're doing on some of the edges here, where it's uh, got some gaps. If it's a small gap, we're putting just rocks under there. So those rocks there, that'll keep the concrete from, from spilling out. And the ones where we have the bigger gaps, like this one, 
that was a eight inch gap under there so we just cut some of the two by eights out and uh put them under there screwed them on then we did it that way instead of filling it in because with the concrete it's much better if you have it sitting on undisturbed ground like this here because if it's uh, if we fill this in then it's going to sink over time and it cracks in your drywall and it cracks in your foundation and you don't want that so like this it's a little bit lower use a little extra concrete but it's going to be much stronger in the end and i know the house isn't going to settle over time you just want that concrete on all nice uh, undisturbed ground uh, Andrew, he's just up there getting the last little rocks in. But we'll go ahead and uh, start putting the rebar in and getting that cut and tied down and then uh, go from there. And there we go got the concrete in the uh, I was, I was gonna try to get here a little bit earlier to do a little more video of these uh, forms after we got that rebar in and kind of what we did but um, the truck it got here about half hour early so uh, yeah I had to get that in the forms but it's all done and we got that in before it gets too hot because today is supposed to be a record heat day but um, yeah we saw with the uh, board we just did the screed got this uh, all the concrete kind of leveled off uh, got the hammer tapping on the edges get air bubbles out uh, doing the mag float on the top there get this nice and smooth I mean these are just footers so they don't have to be super perfect and uh, once this uh, firms up a little bit definitely not ready yet but when it does we will take these boards off because there's gonna be a little dip under there and I always like to get that filled in with a bit of concrete 
But uh, yeah, we'll uh, do that. Let this sit out here for just a few more minutes. And um, yeah, get that done. Get the boards off. We have some uh, rebar we need to put in here all the way around. I always like to put the rebar in a little bit afterwards. Um, just so if it's too wet, then it falls over. But it's probably about good now. So I'll go ahead and put the rebar in. And uh, maybe we can take this uh, top wood off uh, on the uh, forms here. All right, so this concrete firmed up a little bit. We took those blocks off the top. That's just to keep it from spreading apart. And uh, took those off. It didn't pull apart or anything, so we're looking good there. We put the rebar in there. That's every, like, four feet or so. And, uh, yeah, we went ahead and took the uh, the forms off these, uh, these center uh, concrete things there. That's going to be a uh, supports for the girder and we took those off just so we can kind of like smooth up the edges so that's going to look nice when you're crawling under the crawl space but on the crawl space here it's going to have a lot of gravel under here so you won't see most of it but what you do see is going to look really nice and then uh, we went along the edge here with a little like a uh, corner tool and just rounded over the edges don't need to do that but i just had a little bit of time so we decided to do that and um, yeah everything's pretty much done here uh since it's going to be really hot today we're going to get the uh, the hose and just uh, spray some cool water on the concrete before we go. And I'll come back in a couple hours and uh, spray some more. We just don't want this concrete to dry out too quick because then it's going to crack and it's not going to be very strong. But uh, put some water on it. That's going to slow down that reaction. And uh, it's going to be some nice concrete. And we'll come back next week, take the forms off, and then uh, start putting up the fox block. All right, guys. Well, everything is done here. We just wet down the concrete with the hose. I'll have to come back later and do it again. Um, but yeah, that's for later. Um, but yeah, anyways guys, that's that's it for today. There's nothing left to do on the concrete here. Just let it cure. And we'll come back uh, on Monday and take the forums off. And start putting that ICF block on. But that'll be for the next episode. But again guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And all your comments and support. And if you like these kind of videos, definitely subscribe. Because this is one of the first episodes of our start to finish home building series of building this house behind me here and yeah thank you again like i said and i will see you right back here next weekend